so today I'm going to be trying a product called Brasso and this is for cleaning brass and I got it for cleaning the brass pieces to the Thompson Center Hawken I'm building uh, this says right on the bottle that it's uh, quality for over 100 years so I imagine if something has been in business for over 100 years I would like to think that it works but we're gonna find out today if that's the case and you see what I have here is a couple of my brass pieces from the uh, Hawken. As you can see, this is the patch box. It's nice and it's shiny, and uh, I want all my pieces to look like that. However, this is the nose cap, and as you can see, there's a difference. It's dull. It's uh, it's, it's it's still brass, but it doesn't look that great. So I want it to look like this. I want all the pieces to match. I want them to all be nice and shiny and bright. So, if this is brass, then the Brasso product should clean it up. Um, can I get it to look that nice and that shiny and that new? I don't know, but we're going to find out today and we're going to see if this will actually do it. So the first question I really had is, is this actually brass? And I know it looks like it, but that doesn't mean it actually is brass. It could be something like steel that's brass plated. And that shouldn't make too much of a difference, other than when using a product like that or other metal cleaners, you just need to be a little more careful. So, how do I find out if this is real brass? How do I know? Well, there's one way, the magnet test. So, I have a bunch of little magnets here, and although they're tiny, they, uh, they're really powerful. Now, brass uh, is not magnetic, so no magnet will actually stick to brass. However, if it's brass plated, uh, in other words, if there's like steel underneath or something like that, then the magnet should stick right to it. So let's find out. Is this nose cap actually brass? And you can see that it definitely is solid brass because this isn't sticking at all. So that's good news. So I was curious and now I know for sure that this is a brass piece. So the cleaner should clean it. And uh, while we're on, the, look at that. Not um, any other metal. This is brass as well. So that's good to know. However, check this out. It will stick to the hinge because the hinge is not brass, but it won't stick to anything else. So that's great. So these are solid brass pieces, and I had a hunch they were, but I didn't know for sure, but I know now. So let's find out if that brass o cleaner, this product, can get this to look as nice and shiny and new as the patch box. Okay, we're back. So, did Brasso work? Well, you tell me. Here's the nose cap now, and here's the patch box. Look at that. It's actually brighter and shinier than the patch box was. And I hope you can see, I hope my camera is doing this justice, because I gotta tell you, that stuff worked like magic. I mean, look at this now. It looks like a brand new piece. Look how shiny that is. It's amazing. I mean, I mean, it just, it's not like this was that bad in the first place, but you remember how dull it was. And I'm going to put the before and after picture so you can really see. Um, it wasn't tarnished all that badly, but look at it now. I mean, it looks like a piece of gold. It's, it's amazing. This stuff just, I mean, it just took it off like it was nothing. It was like wiping dust off of something. Um, and I only used a paper towel, believe it or not. So it's not even like I, I used anything abrasive like steel wool or even a sponge. I didn't do any of that stuff. Um, you can, and if, you're, if your brass piece is more tarnished than you might want to. But I thought I was going to have to go put this on my buffing wheel and really work at it. And, and I was going to start with the paper towel and figured that wasn't going to do much. And then I was going to go and um, use something else, uh, like a different kind of cloth. But I didn't even need to. I just used some paper towel and look at this thing. I mean, it is it is like a mirror finish. I mean, it's it's crazy to me. It's cra I mean, this stuff works a hundred percent. If you want, uh, if you have some brass and you need it shined up and you want it to look new, use this stuff. In fact, the patch box is is now. I mean, which I thought was shiny and very pretty before, kind of looks dull compared to the nose cap. I'm gonna wipe it down with with some of this and see see what how I can get this. Uh, I can get this looking. Um, not that it even needs it, but it's it's nice to know. 
And the major reason why I'm glad that this worked is because, as you know, I am trying to make this a Thompson Center Hawk and for the least amount of money I can possibly do. So I don't want to spend a lot. So how, how does that factor in with Brasso? Well, I've noticed that a lot of the pieces that are for sale, that they cost a lot less when they're tarnished and dirty and old and just, you know, faded. Uh, but with this, if I can get them to look brand new, brand new shiny like this, then what do I care? It just means I can actually buy some of the pieces for even less money, knowing that I can get them to look brand new and get them looking like this. And if not even like this, at least better than what they were. So, again, I'm trying to build the gun for as cheap as I can, but it's nice to know that this that this product did something like that. I, I, I'm, I'm really shocked. i got to be honest. I, I thought it was going to work, but I didn't really know how well. Um, but, I mean, there it is. Uh, gorgeous. And this was... Uh, I wish I remembered how much this was. I'm sorry, guys. Um, it wasn't a lot. I want to say eight bucks. I think. And that was at Home Depot. I don't know. It, you probably can find it at Lowe's and other hardware stores, things like that. Uh, probably can find it online. But the question was, does this work? Will this work? And the answer is yes. 100%. So, and there's a little tip too, if you're going to sell something that's brass on eBay or something like that or, or at some kind of show or something, and it, just wanting to get rid of something that's brass, get that, shine it up, and people will pay more money for it because it looks so much better. And it doesn't, it's not that big of a deal to spend a couple minutes. I mean, this, I don't even think it took me two minutes to get it to look like this, honestly. Like two minutes. I literally like wiped it down like this and I was shocked. You can see on a paper towel. You can see all the, it just looks really dirty all of a sudden, and this looks really clean. And there it is. So, I do recommend Brasso. It definitely works. Here's the proof. It worked for me. It will work for you. Thanks for watching, and uh, keep keep uh, checking my channel out because the Thompson Center Hawking is going to be finished fairly soon.